This program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes with sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. I wonder why there's a police car parked in front of the house. I'm sure there's a reason. It's probably Chief Bennett's. He's working on some police business with my father. What if he's here to arrest me for murder? Will you listen to me? You have nothing to fear from the police. Nothing. And there's no reason for you to believe that you ever saw a corpse or the blood on your hands that night. You believe Julian, then? All the evidence supports his story, that it was your imagination. You never committed a crime, therefore you can't be prosecuted. I don't know. I do. This case is closed. The truth is, nothing happened. You had a nightmare. I'm still furious with my brother, though. And how could Julian be so cruel to let me think all these years that I was a murderer? I don't think I will ever be able to forgive him. I'm a busy man, officer. This is about a missing person. Well, so you said, but that makes me no less busy. It's very important, Mr. Crane. All right, why? Who's this person who's missing? Martin Fitzgerald. Your father? Oh, for pity's sake. Now, what do you know about his disappearance? Me? Why on earth would you come to me? Because I think that you have the answers. Well, I don't, so if you'll excuse me... I'm not finished with you. Well, I'm certainly finished with you. Now, goodbye, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Either I get the answers from you, or I talk to your father. Maybe Alistair knows something. All right, I will give you five minutes. That's all I'll need. Well, 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 if it isn't big sister Whitney. What are you doing here? Well, this might shock you, but uh, some of us do like to kick it once in a while. I thought you were working for my father at the high school today. Well, not that I owe you any explanation, but uh, I'm in a good mood, so um, I'm finished working for Coach Russell. Oh, you mean forever? Uh, no. Sorry to disappoint you just today. Put in some quality work hours, and now I'm just gonna relax. I see you uh, still got your nose to the old grindstone. Mm -mm -mm. I guess Miss Perfect just don't know how to kick it. Hey, what you studying now, anyway? Do you mind? Women's tennis rankings northeast. <laughs> well, what's the deal with this? I thought you was through with tennis. And ready for a real man to give you some real love. I just checked my dad's office and Chad's not there. Let's go. Where? To the book cafe. He may be there. Forget it, Simone. The chariot home are coming from her mental attack or whatever it was. I've got Miguel to myself. Oh, yes. This is my time and I'm gonna make the most of it. Hello, Miguel. How was practice? Long. I guess you're ready to hit the showers. Yeah, just about. Would you mind waiting? I'll walk you home. Sure. I want to see Charity. I'm really worried about her. Well, I mean, she's fine. She's home resting. Uh, yeah, but she's probably still really upset about what happened with the game last night. Maybe she remembers what word she spelled out that was so evil. Anyway, I'll feel better when I see her. I'll be right back. I know this painting. It looks like you. Oh, of course it does. It's one of my ancestors. Even so? It's one of my great, 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 great aunts, or whatever. I can never keep them straight. They all look alike. <laughs> no, I've seen this someplace. Where? I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet This painting, 
Why does it look so... Oh, oh, what, what is it, dear? I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm feeling a bit woozy. Oh, come along. We'll, we'll get you home. No, oh, the, the painting. There's something about it. Something that makes me feel kind of dizzy. I have to sit down. I'll bet I know why that painting seems familiar to you, Charity. Why, Tabitha? Because you studied the Puritans in school, and you've simply forgotten those lessons along with everything else. Forgotten? Well, you've got amnesia, dear, remember? Oh, how can you remember if you've got amnesia? Oh, silly me. Uh, I'll get you some water. Try to remember, Charity. Think hard. Where have I seen that painting? All set. You know, I just remembered that my parents thought it best not to disturb Charity. Um, Simone's mom said that she needed a lot of rest, right, Simone? Yes, um, she, yeah. So, I was thinking that we could all go to the book cafe and have some lattes and try to figure out why anyone would invent trigonometry. Oh, you know what? I hope Chad is working tonight because he plays the best CDs. So, what are we waiting for? I don't know. I mean, I just want to... Look, Miguel, you're probably not going to be able to see Charity for a couple of hours. Simone's mom's being really strict about it. Okay, I'll get Charity a coffee and then I'll drop it off to her. Go away, Chad. Mm. <sighs> Looks like Daddy's little girl can't handle the thought of real love. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Yo, I was there, remember? At your Daddy's office. Th that was just a temporary lapse, okay? Mm. Sure it was. I love tennis, and I'm gonna try my hardest to make the Olympic team. You know, that's why I'm doing this. I'm putting together data on all the top players, you know? Learning their games, their strengths, their weaknesses. Hmm. Yeah, I use the computer for my music, but not for research. Well, you should. I mean, there's all kinds of endless information right at your fingertips. In fact, I'm compiling data on the history of harmony going all the way back to the Pilgrims. Yeah, wait a minute. You think you could, uh, you could run a search on my name, Harris and Harmony? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I got a pilgrim ancestor. Oh, hello, Clara. Ethan, I'm sorry to disturb you. I just wanted to let Sheridan know I spoke to her brother. Come in. I'll only be a minute on my way home. What did you speak to Julian about, Pilar? Well, I asked him if there was anything that you should know about what happened that night. Nothing happened. That's what he said, right? Yes. Of course. He'll stick with his story no matter what. It was just a nightmare, that's all it was. That's what he said. We checked my father's story, and it seems to hold up. I'm so relieved, Ethan. I only believed Sheridan's story about the blood and the corpse because she seemed to be so convinced of it. So you all think I'm mad? No. Sheridan, that's not true when you know it. I mean, I was the one who urged you not to talk about it at the time, remember? Why would you have me do that if you believed nothing happened? Because my first reaction was to protect you. But I knew deep in my heart that you could never be a murderer. Just the mad woman of harmony. Sheridan, stop saying that. Everybody has nightmares. No, not like this one. It was so... Look, I wish I could believe that that's all it was. But since my brother lied to me all these years, I mean, why should I accept what he's saying now? I mean, can anyone ever believe Julian? My father worked at Crane Industries for years. This is hardly news, Louise. I'm well aware of that. Your father was a long-time employee. <laughs> and were you also aware that Alistair Crane called him the night before he disappeared? Called our house and asked to speak to my father. Go on. Now, I could only hear his side of the conversation, of course. I couldn't make out what he was saying, but I could tell he was tense. It sounded like he was being pressured. See, the next morning, my mother got this strong feeling that something was wrong. Now, she tried to talk to him, but 
He said that everything was fine, that there wasn't a problem, and went to work. Now, that was the last time that anyone in our family ever saw him again. Hmm. It's a sad story, but not unusual. These things happen. What things happen, Mr. Crane? Men abandon their families. I mean, that's what the police concluded, wasn't it? That Martin walked out the door and just kept going? Well, that's what the Cranes want everyone to think. Now, wait just a second. If I recall, there was a police investigation. Harmony PD was very thorough. They questioned Martin's co-workers. But not Alistair Crane. I really have no idea. You know, why would the head of the Crane family want to talk to my father? What could they possibly have to say to each other? What is your family covering up? All right. That's it. No more. I've heard enough. I know how you feel about my family. You hate us. There's going to be more. Much more, Mr. Crane. Because there's no way I'm ever giving up on this. Goodbye, Louise. I'm reopening the investigation. You're reopening? Yeah. Mm. I'm going to find out the truth. You can count on it. And you think the truth is that we know something about your father's disappearance and we haven't told you? I don't think. I know you're holding back. Well, you're right, Louise. We do know something. It's time you learn the truth. I remember the phone call my father made to Martin. Well, then why didn't you say so when I first mentioned it? Because father and I have simply been trying to shield Pilar all these years. <laughs> shield her. Your mother is a valued and trusted employee. You know, my mother does not need the cranes to protect her. My family can take care of its own. Well, I hope so, because she's going to be devastated when she hears the truth that you so desperately want to uncover. What are you talking about? You wanted it. Here it is. My father discovered money missing from the department that Martin worked in. Cold cash. Skimmed. See, the fact is, your father's not a very good worker. We only kept him on for Pilar's sake. But the day after the money was discovered to be missing, your father was ordered to report to the office to explain. He never showed. Father and I both knew he'd taken the money, so it was no surprise that he didn't show. That is a lie. My father is a good man, an honest man, and he would never take a cent that wasn't his. Never. What the proof. I hate to see what this is doing to you, Sheridan. It's eating you up. Except what Mr. Crane said happened. Pilar's right. And there's no evidence you killed anyone. I wasn't there that night, Sheridan. I had gone home to my own children. But when I came in the morning, there was no blood in the living room or anywhere else. There was nothing. It was a bad dream, a terrible dream. That's what it was. Sheridan, you did suffer from nightmares back then because you felt that your birth was responsible for your mother's death. Now, that's a terrible guilt to have to live with. Guilt? But don't you see? You don't have to carry the burden of guilt anymore. It's what drove you to those men who weren't worthy of you. Perhaps now you'll finally find the love that you've always yearned for, the love that you need and deserve. I hope you're right, Pilar. I want to find love, true love, more than anything in the world. And you will. I know you will. I'd better get home. Thanks for stopping by, Pilar. What a wonderful woman. I hope you'll take your words to heart and bury the past. One more thing that I need to do. Sign on, Princess, and don't tell it. Oh, no, you don't. As long as that brat is still alive, there is no safe place on this earth. You can't run and you can't hide. But you talked to me that one day she would have great powers. Timmy just didn't realize that day was today. Well, not quite. No? What about the game pieces? 
Trudy freaked when she figured out they spelled out your name. She knew it was connected to evil. Well, that damn angel set that up. And now, the picture, it floated down the stairs. It floated down the stairs? Because it wanted Charity to see it. It wanted to give her a message. <sighs> that damn painting. I wish I destroyed it when I had the chance. Well, that's spilt milk now. Anyway, we've still got time on our side. How oh, preserve. Well, Charity hasn't come into her full powers. Not yet. She didn't remember the painting. And she doesn't know I fought with her mother. And her grandmother. And her great-grandmother. I fought with them all, right back down to the 17th century. But Charity's powers do seem to be crystallizing in spite of her amnesia. It's only a matter of time before she remembers her past. And the past of all the Standish women. And when that happens, we're finished. I feel dizzy. Here. I can't show you the proof that your father stole money. Because there isn't any. You're wrong, Luis. There was proof, but my father destroyed it. Yeah, I'll bet. You don't believe that? You're damn right I don't. Well, no matter. It's done. There's no undoing it. It was wrong to destroy the evidence. But you see, I persuaded Father that Pilar had to be protected at all costs. She's terribly important to my family. Ivy relies on her for almost everything. Oh, so you did this for my mother? You took pity on her? Well, Father agreed that Pilar could not afford to lose her job, not with so many children to take care of, you included. And the scandal would have done you irreparable harm, and your brothers and sisters also. Where do you come up with this? Money was always a huge issue for your family. You see, Martin overextended himself by buying a house, the house that, that you continue to live in. Yeah, we always had food on the table. There was never a day that we went without. Well, of course not. That's because your father stole. He might have done it for noble reasons, but make no mistake, steal, he did. This is all such a crock. I don't believe a word of this. Ask your mother. What? Your own mother wouldn't lie to you, would she? Does she know about this? Ask her how all the bills got paid, and ask her after Martin deserted you how the bank helped her out with the mortgage payments. Ask her about the bonus she received that Christmas and every year thereafter. And you know who owns the bank, don't you? Yeah, Cranes. See, we helped your mother financially. And at the same time, we didn't hurt her by revealing the crimes of a deadbeat husband. Get out of here, your five minutes are up. You should be loving the Cranes, Louise, not hating us. Is it all? I can't come up with one. I mean, not in harmony. Thanks for trying. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I mean, maybe there's another way that I can track down information for your family. Um, where were you born? L.A. Okay, when? 1980. Couldn't be simpler. I'll just um, pull up the birth record for that year. Okay, for Los Angeles County. And... Well, are, are you sure? About what? Well, I mean, according to this, no birth certificate was registered in the name of Chad Harris. What? Well, not in Los Angeles County, 1980. No, no, no. There has to be. Well, is it possible that your parents maybe changed your first name? Changed my first... What? 
I have a friend whose parents changed her first name after she was born. I mean, yeah, well, my name is, always was, and always will be Chad Harris. Okay, okay. Um, maybe you were born someplace else, you know? A neighboring county outside of L.A. Is that possible? Could be, I, mean, I guess. Um, All right, well, let's give it a try. What are the neighboring counties? Orange, San Bernardino. Okay, we'll start with those. What's up, Chad? Hey. hey, not much, Simone. How about you? I'm glad to see my sister working with you on the computer. It's great to know she isn't mad at you anymore. Well, look, uh, I told Beth that I'd work the counter for her while she takes lunch. All I am doing is helping Chad find his information about his family. The sooner he knows where he is, the sooner he will leave. It's not where it was before. I could have sworn that the painting was at the bottom of the stairs, and and now it's on the sofa. Louise. Mama. What's wrong? What's happened? Is it Miguel or Teresa? No. Then what? I went over the Crane Mansion and spoke to Julian. Why? I wanted to find out why Alistair Crane called Papa in the night before he disappeared. Julian remembered the call. He said that uh, his father wanted to make sure that Martin showed up for work the next morning. Why would Mr. Alistair want to make sure Martin showed up for work? You're not going to like this, Mama. Tell me everything. I have a right to know. Julian Crane said my father is a thief. Julian, I just saw Luis drive off. Oh, yes, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald popped in for a brief visit. Why? What did you talk about? We were just settling some past history. What's that mean? Uh, forget it. I hope you weren't giving him more grief about the Halloween prank and the cream pie. No, we went further back than that, considerably further. Are you talking about why he hates the family? That's been going on for years. Well, I doubt that'll continue after what I told him. Why? What did you talk to him about? It's personal. It had nothing to do with Ethan or you. And while we're on the subject of you, Sheridan, I trust I'm not going to be grilled again about that night. I mean, I hope that you finally believe it was your imagination and we can lay this to rest. I hope that, too. There's only one way we'll know for sure. And how would that be? I've always hated this room because of the terrible memories that it's held for me. But are you still afraid? Is your imagination still powerful enough to conjure up a bloody corpse? Nothing in Riverside County, nothing in San Diego. Chad Harris's birth is not on record in any county around L.A. in 1980. <laughs> Should I try another year? Don't you think I know how old I am? Look, I know who I am, and I know where I was born, okay? Well, there must be something mixed up for her. You know what I think? I think that you screwed up the internet search out of spite. What? You're just trying to mess with me. Now what? Why would you do something like that, Whitney? D do not start in with me, Simone, okay? You know, you've had it in for Chad since the moment you met him. 
Look, the man says that he's worked with famous people, that he produces record albums, but his name is isn't on the CD cover? So what? Since when do you know so much about the music business? He said that he was born in L.A. in 1980. His name is not on the birth register, Simone. Like, mistakes can't happen. You need to open your eyes, Simone. Look, Chad already told us he got cheated out of the credit on those CDs. And all we have is his word on that. That's good enough for me. Get real. He is a phony. He's probably some kind of con artist. Oh, that is so incredibly mean. Look, whatever and whoever he is, it is not what he told us. I'm really worried, Kay. I just called your house and there was no answer. Charity should have picked up. She probably wanted to sleep, so she turned the ringer off on her phone. Charity's fine, Miguel. I'm sure of it. How does a painting move itself across a room? Oh, well, it, it didn't. Of course it didn't. I was the one who put it there. I, I wanted to see how it would look if I hung it there. On top of the sofa? <laughs> Your Aunt Grace is always going on about my decorating such a tease. <laughs> oh, you're not drinking your water, dear. Drink it up, it'll make you feel better. I'm so sorry it upset you looking at the painting, Charity, but just, just forget about it. Put it out of your mind. Such a horrid time in our history. Uh, unhand me! Speak, old woman! Admit to your evil ways! What strange doings thou have by this time? Oh, that is for me to know and thou to find out! Oh, even her language is strange! <gasps> Thou shalt pay for this! I'd get rid of that painting if I could, but it, it, it would bring nothing at auction, and, and I do have a certain sentimental feeling for it. <laughs> I've been a nuisance, haven't I? And I only came over here to apologize for frightening you yesterday when I was screaming evil. Oh, don't give it another thought, Charity. No, and here I am, carrying on and on about a painting. Oh. Everything will seem much better in the morning, dear. Well, I better get home. Somebody might come and check on me, and nobody knows that I'm even over here. Ah! Oh! Oh, my heart! My heart! <sighs> my husband, your father, is not a thief. He was an honest man who worked hard his whole life for his family so that he could raise his children. And he would rather die than take money that wasn't his. And I won't allow anyone to destroy his name to make his own son ashamed of him. I'm not, Mama. Look, if you, if you tell me he was this way, th then he was. I guess I just needed to hear you say it, that's all. There is not a man alive who is more honest than my Martin. Yeah, and there's no bigger liar than Julian Crane. I can't believe that I let him spout all that stuff. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm sorry, Mama. It's all right, really. You're not to blame. Yeah, the cranes are. Louise. I just wish that I'd known that they were helping us out before. I can't stand being obligated to them. Well, I'm afraid it's something you're going to have to learn to live with. Yeah, but you know one thing that I can't live with? It's having Julian Crane think that my father is a thief. I'm going to prove him wrong, because one day, I'm gonna find my father, no matter what it takes, no matter how long. Hello. Okay, O'Brien, thanks. Bad news? The APB on Papa turned up someone working under his social security number in Santa Fe. New Mexico? What's wrong? It was always Martin's dream to retire in New Mexico. Sheridan? Sheridan, are you all right? I feel better than I felt in a long time. This room no longer holds any fear for me. 
I can't tell you how glad I am to hear that. Well, this is a turning point, I'm sure of it. I mean, now that you know that the corpse wasn't real, I think you'll see that your nightmares will slowly disappear. Well, maybe it won't even be slowly. It, it might be they'll just stop. No thanks to you. Sorry. I'm still angry with you, Julian. Very angry. But why? For waiting until now to talk to me about that night. I was invaluable enough to the family for you to waste your time with me. Oh, this is utterly preposterous. The only cranes who matter are the men, the ones who will take over the company. I won't even dignify I you. am putting you on warning, Julian. I'm no longer the sweet, docile Sheridan who once feared she had a terrible secret in her past. From this moment on, you and Father are going to have to deal with my demands on this family. Have I seen you before? I doubt it. I'm new. Huh. Where's Beth? She's out to lunch. What can I get you? Uh, I forget. Uh, it was a special coffee that Beth made, uh, but I can't remember the name of it. It was black and strong. I do know that. Coming up. My name's Orville. Chet Harris. 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 I remember that name. Uh... Well, you do? Where? Where have you heard that name? In this town? Do you know any Harris's here? Seems to me I heard that name about 20 years ago. Well, that was when I was born. Oh, listen. What? This song is so killer. You really like it? Totally, I love it. Then I'm gonna buy it. I'll be right back. Adios, Charity. Should I call a doctor? Uh, oh, no, no need, no need. It's passing. Silly me, I forgot to take my pills. They're on the kitchen table. Would you do me a favor and get them for me, Charity, dear? Sure, sure. Okay, Jimmy and Tabitha are out of here. What? That's why you sent Charity out, isn't it? So that Jimmy and Tabitha can make a getaway. Beeps haven't explained that stupid painting. That thing is going to be the death of Timmy and his princess. Charity's the one who's going someplace, not me. No one knows Charity's here. So if she should disappear, no one would suspect little old Tabitha. Huh? It was deftly handled, even if I do say so myself. I don't care how deft it was, Julian. I want to know that it's over. Believe me, Father, Luis's problem with us is settled once and for all. He was horrified to learn that his father was a common thief. Of course he was horrified. Martin Fitzgerald was a man who lived by the Ten Commandments. And I assure you, the son is like the father. Yes, chip off the old block. Thou shalt not steal means something to the working class. Fools. <laughs> Bless you, Martin, wherever you are. I know you never stole from the Cranes or anyone else. You would cut your hand off before you took anything that wasn't yours. Even if our family was going through hard times, even if Papa had borrowed more money than he could afford to pay back, you've got to face it, Mama. If Papa's alive and well and living in New Mexico, then Julian Crane is right. My father is a thief.
then it's settled then. No going to Paris. You're going to stay here in harmony. And all your fears about the past have come to rest. You have nothing to run from now. Except community service. <laughs> Can't wait to get that over with. I mean, working with Luis day in and day out is cruel and unusual punishment. My father's right. His attitude towards us is going to do a 180. You're not serious. You actually think Luis would begin to like us? Well, <laughs> at least he won't detest us. Still, there's something that Julian said that's bothering me. Settling past history, well, what did he mean by that? So, you've been living here 20 years, huh? Nothing like the smell of a good cup of coffee. <laughs> and, uh, you think you might have heard of a Chad Harris being born here in Harmony? Well, these days, it's hard for me to uh, remember what I had for breakfast. But that name sure rings a bell. Seems to me like quite a story at that time. Well, what was? Or was that story about uh, another fella? Give it up, Chad. You have no connection to Harmony. Will you stop it? Just like you have no connection to L.A. Hold on a second. You said Chad Harris? Right. Hmm. I need that stuff to kickstart my brain. Chad Harris. Chad Harris. Yeah, that's the name. Wow. I got lucky. It was the last one. If my luck holds up, this will help Charity get her memory back. You bought the CD for Charity? Well, sure. That is what you suggested, isn't it? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. That's, that's what I suggested. <laughs> You're always thinking about your cousin. Family comes first with you, huh? Yeah. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Uh, pick up a coffee. Then I'm gonna go to your house and see Charity. Charity rots in hell. That was my chance to destroy her, Timmy. She's here. She's alone and she's vulnerable. Nothing and no one can save her now. Are you sure you've worked it all out, Princess? Positive. What if you get caught? Well, you heard the brat. Nobody knows she's here. No one will suspect me if she has a sudden demise. Now, let's see. Oh. Yes, this should do quite nicely. Yes. This should do very nicely. 